for the end zone. Touchdown! And the left jab. Takes the shot. Access 7 Sports. For all of your local sports, tune to Access 7. How big a day this is for Dave? <laughs> it is really big. It's, uh, it's special to be a part of. Uh, I never really did grasp how, how uh, exciting a day it is until just now. Uh, when I look back four years ago, uh, the opportunity I had uh, interviewing for the head position with the ownership group, the kind of people that they are, uh, you know, it's you really wanted to be a head coach at that point. Uh, when I did not get the job and John got it, it really wasn't in the cards for me to, to come on as an assistant. And I'm so thankful that I did for myself, my family, my kids, uh, because of the payoff. Uh, as an assistant coach, becoming the assistant general manager, uh, the success we've had, the players that have come through, the opportunity to develop good people, uh, good hockey players, and the success that the organization has had. I mean, it, it does start at the top and with our ownership group down to John and our coaching staff, uh, we've had an opportunity to develop some good players and we hope to continue that. Uh, we talk about foundations, they're really important. Uh, and like I said, with, with the quality of people that we have running our organization, uh, we get to work, we're allowed to work, and uh, it, it's paid off for us. So we just get to continue on uh, developing, and we're looking forward to it. Well, there's been so many openings over the years that you could have applied for, and your name was obviously front and center. <laughs> what is it about this organization that made you want to stick around? You really want to work with good people, and you need to be able to trust the people you're working with. It's the daily operation, the daily process that we go, th go through. Is, uh, it, it's a special connection. It's very hard to leave that, uh, especially when you are having some success. It doesn't have to be big successes. Uh, we started off with a, with a real good group of guys our first year, four years ago, and we had to make some real tough decisions to move some guys away that we, we you know, deep down, we loved those kids. Uh, and, but it, put us in a position where we are today and we've had some success, but when you work with people like we do, and it's, it's everybody every day, uh, it's really hard to leave. What did you take out of your first head coaching experience? Did you do something differently or did working under John Paddock the last few years change your philosophy on everything you anyway? No, it just became a different success story for us uh, as far as where I'll be taking over. Uh, we, were gonna, we were a really young group in Saskatoon after the Memorial Cup. Uh, obviously, there's some really close similarities. Uh, the ownership group there had taken over. It was a one-year experiment with me. Uh, this year, we've had an opportunity to work together for four years. Uh, we know and, and we've, uh, we've executed a plan. Uh, we had the thought process uh, going in that we were going to get uh, take baby steps in developing a program. We're still developing that program, there's no question. Uh, the skill was going to be a big part of it. Uh, work ethic, energy, attitude. We get, this, we get to add to that. So can you say that you spent that year in Saskatoon looking over your shoulder, you really were uncomfortable in the role, but here you were allowed to set the path forward? No, I think when I worked with Lauren Mullick, and I was very fortunate, just as I was here with John, uh, both coaches allowed me to be a head coach without the head coach title. So back when I was in Saskatoon, uh, I, you know, I owe a lot of, a lot of credit to Lorne. Uh, in saying that, uh, my time with John, uh, he's a very experienced man. He's won a lot of championships. Taking the day-to-day -day, uh, process and, and, and watching and learning from him uh, has been big. Bringing in Brad Haroff was huge for us. Uh, very good hockey mind, high-end hockey IQ, and a great person. So. I go back to both experiences. I, I, I loved both of them. Uh, what we've done here uh, and the, the say we've had in developing uh, the program, making trades when we needed to, uh, bringing in the right people, uh, the ownership group allowing us to make those moves has been very important to us uh, and it's paid off. Now we have to continue to do that. Uh, we don't want to stop where we are right now. And uh, we hope we can make some good decisions over the course of time here uh, and get back to where we were the last couple of years. Dave. Describe your relationship with John. Well, it's best friends. Uh, the, the communication we had uh, prior to our first, uh, first year, uh, I know he alluded to it earlier about talking hockey. 
uh, over the course of two hours and 15 minutes, I think we spoke hockey for about half an hour, 15 minutes, but the rest of it was about family life. And, and so we had an opportunity to learn a lot about each other. Uh, so we knew then what kind of people we wanted to surround us. And uh, it, starts with, uh, it starts with us in, in, in bringing in the right people to, to play for us and develop under us. And uh, it's, it's been successful to this point. The philosophy isn't going to change any under you, is it? Uh, no, it's not. We've, we really like what we've done as far as the process. Uh, we obviously are going to lose a lot of skill moving into next year. But the, you know, the, our focus on character, attitude, and work ethic is going to be really key for us. Uh, and from that, uh, we develop a good leadership group. And the way we play the game, the identity we want, that'll carry itself out. Do you feel that you're starting sort of almost where you were when John took over? To start this, almost back to square one? I think we're, I think we're a, little bit, a little bit similar to that, definitely. Um, I think when you look at our group and, and uh, the experiences that the guys coming back have gone through is really going to help us. Uh, having gone through uh, going to the WHL final against Seattle last year, uh, experiencing a first round loss and going to the Memorial Cup final this year, those are a lot of real good experiences for some of the players that we've got right now. So they can come in with that leadership uh, mentality and, and hand it down to some of the new guys. You said you're taking over the offense, is that just a preference? Well, I'll just take over the forwards, uh, sending the D-men out for the last four years. I've done it my whole career. When, even with Lauren, I was working with the D-men. I'll work up with the forwards now. Brad will move to the back end with the defensemen. And uh, the way we coach and everything, not a whole lot will change there. The way we practice will stay the same. Um, our, it'll just be different uh, coaches presenting. Will there be a second assistant coach? Right now, we have no plans to, no. Uh, Brad, how do you do? Brad will be the assistant coach, yes. The confidence you have in Dave, um, we, we've seen that, but just talk about how much confidence you have in him and what this team can do moving forward under him. Well, he's a, he's a very good coach. He's very experienced. Uh, he's, prob he's probably been capable of being a head coach in the league before this time. Uh, he was for one year. so. That's you know that's it. He he's a he's a good coach, um, and we have spent hours upon hours together, and or slash talking in the last four years. So you know there's just no doubt about that for me. And and uh, you know we we know each we know how each other thinks. There was obviously there's no interview process. We've been interviewing each other for years now for days and you know there isn't going to be you know much there's going to be much different uh, on anything that we do. What are you going to miss the most? Hmm? What are you going to miss the most? Uh, game night because that's the closest thing coaching is the closest thing to playing so you actually have a say in the game uh, when you're coaching. Riding the bus. Yeah, well, I'll still be on the bus some. I'll, I never rode the big trips anyway. I did something else, some other way to get out to the West Coast trip, so that won't change. <laughs> There'll be another way of getting out there, and uh, I'll ride the bus, you know, for a moment. I'm going to, you know, I'm, like, I'm going to see lots of games, the Brandons and PAs in our division and whatever, so it's, that part won't change a lot, but it'll be a little bit less. How much different will it be for you to watch the games from the box instead of watching them from the bench? Mm, I don't I've done that lots, so I don't really say the, <coughs> what the question of what I miss would miss would be game night. So like I don't. That's just going to be that view that I've you know done a few more than a few times. Do you see yourself being challenged not to micromanage? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I think you have to be aware of that. But the fact is that I'm still in charge. The fact is we still. We will talk probably not much less than we talk, so um, because we're not, there's no plan to come in and change things here. Um, and in saying that, there's obviously little tweaks that a person has individually, you know, that they want to do a little bit different, but uh, we want to be, and we have some work to do on the, you know, and not recruiting, but just, you know, gathering a group of players together to aim for another time. <coughs> so that, sort of that is a little bit of a change in itself, but um, we want to play a, the same entertaining brand of hockey that we've played. Have you seen a change in the day since the day you met? Uh, 
I don't know. Not, not really, I don't think, because we were pretty, we got to know each other pretty quick right off the bat. So I don't think there's a, I really couldn't think there's a change.